welcome to a new video of Masters Academy SSLC NCERT Topic Reflection Image Formation by Mirror In this video, I am going to explain some diagrams related to image formation by both concave mirror and convex mirror prepared by Santosh Kumar PK First, concave mirror so here, this is a concave mirror and a concave mirror is also known as a converging mirror. P represents the pole of the mirror. C is the center of curvature. F is the principal focus. This is the line known as principal axis. The distance of the point C from P is known as R where R is the radius of curvature of the mirror and distance of the point F from P is known as the focal length. Principal focus of concave mirror. Whenever an object is at infinity, the rays coming from the object are parallel rays. The parallel rays incident on the mirror after reflection, it meet at a common point and that point is what we call it as principal focus and the distance of the principal focus from the pole is known as focal length of the mirror. Image formation by a concave mirror for different position of the object. First case, the object is at infinity. When the object is at infinity, let us consider AB is the object at infinity. The rays coming from the object are parallel rays. The rays after reflection from the mirror, it forms an image at the point F where F is the focus. Now, the image formed is highly diminished and point sized image and the nature of the image is real and inverted. Second case, when the object is kept behind C, that is behind center of curvature. So here C is the center of curvature. The object is kept behind C, AB is the object. Now let us consider two rays. The first ray is parallel to the principal axis and another ray is passing through the center of curvature. The ray which is parallel to principal axis after reflection passes through the principal focus and the ray which is passing through the center of curvature after reflection, it retraces the path. Now the two reflected rays meet at the point here, you will get an image, it is an inverted image. That means the image is formed between F and C and it is diminished, that is the size is diminished compared to the size of the object and it is a inverted therefore the image formed is real and inverted image. Next third case when the object is kept at C that is the center of curvature. When the object is kept at C here AB is the object which is kept at C. Let us consider two rays. The ray one is parallel to the principal axis another ray is passing through the principal focus. Now whenever a ray is parallel to the principal axis after reflection it passes through the principal focus. When the ray is passing through the principal focus after reflection it becomes parallel to the principal axis. Now these two rays, reflected rays, this is the first reflected ray and this is the second reflected ray. These two rays meet at the point here. Therefore, image formed is inverted image. It is also formed at C. It is same size as that of the object and it is a real and inverted image. That means when the object is kept at C, image is also formed at C and the image is same as that of the object and it is a real and inverted image. When the object is kept between C and F, let us consider AB is the object which is kept between C and F. Consider two rays, one ray which is parallel to the principal axis, after reflection it passes through the principal focus. Another ray which is passing through the center of curvature. So whenever a ray is passing through the center of curvature, it incident on the mirror, it retraces the path. Therefore the reflected ray, it retraces like this. So now the two reflected rays meet at the point here you will get an image a dash b dash it is a real and inverted image and the image is magnified compared to the object therefore it is enlarged. So when the object is kept between C and F the image is formed behind C and it is an enlarged image and real and inverted image. When the object is kept at F that is the principal focus. Let us consider an object AB is kept at F. Consider two rays. One ray which is passing parallel to the principal axis after reflection, it passes through the principal focus. Another ray which is passing through the center of curvature, that is a ray which is passing through the center of curvature after reflection retraces the path. Here these two rays will meet almost at infinity. That means whenever an object is kept at the principal focus, the image is formed at infinity and the image is highly enlarged compared to the object, it is also a real and inverted image. When the object is kept between P and F, that is when the object is kept between the pole and the principal focus, AB is the object. So now first ray, the ray is incident at any angle on the pole, it just obeys the law of reflection, angle I is equal to angle R. Another ray, it is passing through the center of curvature. So now the two rays after reflection will never meet at any point on the left side. Therefore. We have to draw it backward. Whenever we draw backward, we extend the point. 
these two rays it appears to come from a point so that is the image point a dash b dash so here image is not formed but the rays appears to come from that point which is what we call it as the virtual image point so whenever an object is kept between p and f the image is formed behind the mirror and it is a enlarged image and it is virtual and erect image now let us study the position of image for different position of the object and also the size and nature of the images first one when the object is kept at infinity the image is formed at focus it is highly diminished and point sides image and the nature of image is real and inverted when the object is kept beyond c the image is formed between f and c it is a diminished image and the nature of image is real and inverted when the object is kept at c the image is also formed at c same size as that of the object it is also real and inverted when the object is kept between c and f the image is formed behind c the size of the image is enlarged and the nature of image is again real and inverted when the object is at f the position of the image is at infinity the size of the image is highly enlarged again it is a real and inverted image when the object is kept between p and f the image is formed behind the mirror the size of the image is enlarged and nature of image is virtual and erect so from these points it is noticed that only the case when the object is kept between p and f you will get a virtual and erect image in all the other cases that is whenever an object is kept at a distance greater than the focal length that is it is at a distance greater than f you will get a real and inverted image in case of a concave mirror next convex mirror so let us consider this is a convex mirror it is also known as a diverging mirror so here the principal focus and center of curvature are towards the right side of the mirror the focal length is always equal to half of the radius of curvature for both concave and convex mirror principal focus of convex mirror here look here whenever an object is at infinity we know that the rays coming are parallel rays the rays after reflection from the mirror they will diverge therefore it is known as a diverging mirror so these rays the reflected rays will never meet at any point on the left side. therefore we have to draw it backwards so whenever the rays reflected rays are drawn backward that is they are extended they will meet at a point f that means the rays appears to come from the point and that point is what we call it as the principal focus of the convex mirror and the distance of the principal focus from the pole is known as focal length that means for a convex mirror the focal length the principal focus center of curvature is on the right side of the mirror or what we call it as back side of the mirror next image formed by convex mirror so whenever an object is kept at infinity let us consider the object is at infinity then the rays are parallel rays after reflection they will diverge so whenever they are drawn backward it appears to come from the point therefore the image is formed at the principal focus that is the image is formed at f behind the mirror it is again highly diminished and point sized image it is virtual and erect next whenever an object is kept between infinity and pole of the mirror whenever an object is kept between infinity and pole that is at any distance between infinity and pole then the image is formed between p and f the image is formed between p and f that is the pole and principal focus it is diminished compared to the object and it is again a virtual and erect image now again let us study the position of the image for different position of object in a convex mirror whenever an object is at infinity the image is formed at focus behind the mirror the size of the image is highly diminished and point sized nature of image is virtual and erect when the object is between infinity and the pole the image is formed between p and f behind the mirror again it is a diminished and virtual and erect image very important concept is sign convention for reflection by spherical mirror let us consider mn is a concave mirror p is the pole ab is the object which is upwards here the image formed is a dash b dash which is downward sign convention means the values that is either you have to take the value as positive or negative for different position so now let us consider the object is at the left so all distances are measured from the pole of the mirror now the distances measured in the direction of incident light distances measured in the direction of incident light are taken as positive and the distances measured opposite to the 
direction of incident light is taken as negative that means so let us consider this is the object so the rays coming from the object are in this direction so direction in this direction towards the right side all the distances you will take as positive that means here in this case only the positive sign will be for all the distance which is behind the mirror that is at in this region right side for all other positions to the left of the mirror you have to take it as negative for example here the object distance of the object that is from p to b it is taken as negative the distance of the image it is from p to b dash it is also taken as negative the height of the object which is above the principal axis is taken as positive if you are having a image which is above the principal axis then the height is also taken as positive and the heights which is measured downwards is taken as negative in this case the image is downward therefore the height of the image is taken as negative this is the important sign convention dear friends if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends thank you